What's up, my name's TechNumber here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. This one's a bit of an alternate video. I'll be talking about how you can play Armor Reforger on a DirectX graphics card that doesn't support DirectX 12. This game needs DirectX 12, but you can step around it if you have an older graphics card and you really want to play the new Armor game. In the description down below, you'll find a link to an open source project. This is what we'll be using in this video here, D3D12 Proxy EDR DX11. This should allow you to play the game, albeit with a couple of things maybe a little bit broken. This works for a few games, including Armor Reforger, so that's exactly what I'm covering it for here. Simply click Binaries Debug .zip over here to download the file. Then we'll click the zip to open it up, and we should see a bunch of files inside of it. We'll get back to these in just a moment. Now we need to navigate across to where the game is located. Just a quick note, as we are modifying game files, I'd highly recommend not playing on BattleEye secured servers. Of course, this is perfectly fine if you want to play the game single player. I'll right click Armory Forger, hover over Manage and click Browse Local Files to open up the game's files over here. Now we'll need to open up a new file browser. I'll hold Start and press E, and inside of here we'll head to this PC, then C Drive, and all the way down to Windows. If you don't see this folder or you can't get here, on Windows 10 at the very top, click View and make sure Hidden Items is ticked. On Windows 11, click the three dots, Options, then head across to View and make sure that Hidden Files and Folders has Show Selected. Scroll down and Hide Extensions for Known File Types should be turned off. Click Apply, OK, and now we should be able to navigate into C Windows. Inside of here, I'll click anywhere and press S to jump all the way down to S and we'll open up the System32 folder. Then I'll simply click anywhere, press D a few times until we get to a bunch of files. There we go. We're looking for D3D12.dll and D3D12core.dll. So there we go, D3D12 and D3D12core. I'll right click and click copy. Then I'll head back to the Armor Reforger folder here and paste them in. We'll be renaming D3D12. I'll select the file, hit F2 to type, and at the very end I'll add underscore original, so it reads D3D12 underscore original dot DLL. I'll change the name, and from that we'll open up the zip file that we downloaded, select everything inside of it, drag and drop it out into our game folder here, and now we should be able to launch up the game in DirectX 11 mode. Technically, we're working around it in ways we shouldn't really. So simply fire up the game as you would usually, and it should launch up as per normal. Once again, I'd highly recommend not connecting to BattleEye secured servers. Use this exclusively to play single player or servers that don't have an anti-cheat enabled. That being said, playing on non-anti-cheat servers will of course mean that you'll come around cheaters and things like that as well, so do keep that in mind. There we go, we jumped into the main menu and everything looks pretty much the same way as it does usually. Nothing should have changed other than the game being DirectX 11. As for how stable the game will be, I'm not too sure entirely. My graphics card does support DirectX 12, so this isn't too much of an issue for me. In order to uninstall this workaround, select all of the files that we dragged out and extracted, and of course the files that we copied as well. Simply delete them and our game will go back to normal. If you're worried about things like a possible ban, you can head into Steam, right click the game, click Properties, and on the Local Files tab, simply click Verify Integrity of Game Files to scan all of the files on your computer and if anything doesn't match the server, it'll be downloaded and patched, or at least replaced. This can take some time depending on the speed of your SSD or hard drive, and when it's done, things should be back to normal. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this workaround works for you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!